In this video we're going to have a quick look at atoms. In an atom the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons and this means that an atom has no overall electric charge. All atoms of a particular element have the same number of protons and you can see this on the periodic table. This is lithium. All lithium atoms have three protons and we call the number of protons the atomic number. When you look at the periodic table you will see another number above the element name. This is the mass number and it's the total number of neutrons and protons combined. As well as using the diagram of an atom to determine the number of protons and neutrons, you can also use the periodic table to draw the structure of an atom. Sodium has an atomic number of 11, meaning it has 11 protons. The mass number of sodium is 23. So therefore, to find out the number of neutrons, we simply need to take away the atomic number from the mass number, leaving 12, the number of neutrons. Remember our first rule, for an atom the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons, so therefore we know that sodium has 11 electrons. Though the number of protons in a particular element cannot change, you can change the number of neutrons and electrons. Changing the number of neutrons makes an isotope. Let's take carbon here as an example. Normally carbon has a mass number of 12, consisting of 6 protons and 6 neutrons. By adding an extra neutron, we can make an isotope called carbon-13. Another common isotope of carbon is carbon-14, which has two additional neutrons. As well as changing the number of neutrons, you can also change the number of electrons. As electrons have a negative charge, losing one gives the atom an overall positive charge. In this example, sodium lost one electron and thus gained an overall charge of plus one. Here, however, beryllium has lost two electrons and therefore gains an overall charge of plus two.